Hi guys, I'm Renee. I'm an epilepsy warrior from WA. I was thinking about what to talk about and I the one thing that I find very important is how to help teenagers dealing with a new diagnosis or how to help teenagers dealing with epilepsy. One of the hardest things in the world is dealing through puberty. Add epilepsy to it, it makes it double as hard. So here's a few tips that I know that didn't help me that I know may help you to help your teenager. One of the first things is 100% get one of these. It's a pill tray. Make sure you put the t tablets in there. That way you can keep track of what tablets they're taking um, and when they're taking them. I suggest keeping the tablets put away somewhere, um, but just keep out this tray. It is a big step dealing with a new diagnosis. It's going to change their personality dramatically. That's something you're just going to have to be prepared for. Um, the depression and things, you need to keep a close eye on. I know they don't look sick and, it's, as they say, an invisible illness, but you won't understand what they're going through. You need to get them to open up to you and talk to them. It's very hard to get them to open up because they don't understand what's going on. Um, when I went through it in my teenage years, I didn't understand everything that was going on and it was a very traumatic experience. Um, you have to be prepared that they may lose a lot of their friends. It's part of the package, unfortunately. The true friends will stick around, but these are all things and signs that you have to keep an eye on. Also, family net members. I encourage you, tell your family members what is going on, but... I implore you to tell them not to discuss it with their t your teenager. If they want to ask any questions to come to you. I've had um, things happen with me where my grandmother was going around telling everyone that I got epilepsy because I couldn't handle going through puberty. So that was pretty horrible to hear back from someone. And then I also had another family member come up to me recently asking me about Cameron Bro Boyce. Now you don't want somebody coming up and asking them about somebody dying from epilepsy not at an early stage like this. So I encourage you to get your family members if they need to ask something to talk to you instead of them. The key is to get your child through this transition, give them a goal, going for their license, doing something that like that. It's a big adjustment and there's a big change in their personality having the medication. And they will, they're teenagers, they're going to push the boundaries. So you need to it's just going to be a lot harder with the epilepsy to add to it. So I encourage you to make sure you know everything that's going on. Make sure you're there for your teenager and that they know that you're there to listen. Um, and just keep keep your eyes open for everything. Um, they may start tricking you and not taking their tablets because they think they're getting better or because the, the side effects are so horrible. You need to have your teenager ready to talk to you. You need to be there for them. They may not look sick but they are going through a lot and they need to know they have someone that they can talk on, rely on. Take care. I hope this insight was helpful. I don't want teenagers to go through the same thing I've gone through. So hopefully I've helped you guys get through it. Take care. Stay seizure safe. Bye.